If someone ever told you they wanted to sail into space and you thought they were joking, think again. Back in the early 2000s, NASA invested heavily into solar sail propulsion systems as an effective means of traveling around the Milky Way. 20 meter sails with deployable booms were created and tested in a simulation facility in Ohio, and in 2008, a smaller version was launched aboard a Falcon 1 rocket, but sadly was lost before the sail made orbit. In 2010, NASA deployed a second nanosail, and over its 240-day mission, the plastic and aluminum spacecraft of just 4.5 kilograms successfully demonstrated deep orbit capability, but the entire experiment took place in low Earth orbit. In May 2010, Japan's JAXA launched the world's first interplanetary solar sail spacecraft, Icaros, to Venus. Just over six months later, Icaros blew past Venus at a distance of only 80 kilometers, completing a successful demonstration of the power of solar sail travel. How so? Solar sail technology uses the radiation pressure of light from the sun to push ultra-thin mirrors to high speeds. With a relatively small force that decreases with distance away from the sun, sails are capable of producing small accelerations and can thus build to a great pace. Which leads me to John Merton, spaceship designer. Merton developed and rode upon a lightweight spacecraft with an enormous solar sail achieving speeds of up to 2,000 miles per hour within a day. The concept led to a new sport called sun yacht racing, for which Merton was a pro. But in his final race, as Merton was neck and neck for his greatest victory, due to a solar flare, the race was abandoned. Of course, the story of John Merton is just fiction, from a wonderful sci-fi story called Windjammer. But solar sailing is real, and will continue to play a critical role in space travel in the coming years, limiting the need for heavy and expensive fuel. And it's a great example of what we can do when wonder is renewed.